welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to embroider this tote bag. So stick around to see how we do it. So we wanted to do a project that utilized all of the different processes that we've learned in the last few weeks. And that being applique, puff embroidery, the lettering GUI, all in one project. Mm -hmm. So we're going to design our tote bag logo thing. <laughs> logo thing. Using all of those. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're in Inkscape and we went ahead and opened up our 4x4 template. And this will just give us an idea of how big we're going to make our design. Yeah, because we want to utilize as much space as possible. This is going to be our water here make this as curved as we need to it's actually it's not bad right there right mm -mm. okay now let's add some waves so now we're just going to copy this wave Command C, Command V. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of them and we're going to fill them with blue. All right, it's going to be water. And then let's get rid, of, let's select all of them. Get rid of the stroke. So this is what we want it to end up looking like with the applique. This would be our blue fabric on top of our tote bag. But right now, if we wanted to sew out the outline it, here, we would just, we would end up with these kind of offset and then this would be underneath it. And we don't want that. So what we need to do is join all of these shapes into a single shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure they're all highlighted. We're going to go to path and then we're going to go to union and that will combine all the shapes. And now in my node view, you can see it's just the outline node and I can go ahead and select a stroke now. And my stroke is just going to be the outside edge, which is exactly what I want. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next thing, because this is going to be applique, it's going to be really in two layers, right? So our first layer here, I'm just going to undo that. We want this to be a dashed line to walk down our applique material. So that's going to be layer one. This is going to be locked down our applique. So go ahead and open up our layers and we'll name this. Can you what copy? we can do is we can copy it. Command C, Command V, and I can make this one a satin stitch. Okay, I like that. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and what is going to be unique about this one is we're going to put a piece of puff foam mm -hmm. so that this satin stitch is going to have some more dimension to it and then also when we put our words here it'll have that puff foam underneath it so it'll look pretty 3d and nice plus we're doing applique on top of that so that's pretty cool all right so that is now going to be layer two Alright, so let's add some lettering. You want to use a GUI? Yeah, it will give us a nice satin stitch. I really like the satin stitch look. Stitch and lettering. And we need like a nice beach font. <laughs> so let's look through here. What were we going to say? Beach. Beach. Vibes. Vibes. I like it. them closer together we're just going to squish it all right 
So this should be a nice bright color because it's going to be on blue, right? Maybe yellow or white. Uh, yellow's fine with me. It'll match our sun that mm -hmm. we put up here. So yellow. Mm -hmm. Shift yellow. That'll be yellow. Can't really see it right now, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now you want to add a sun, right? Yes. This is going to be applique, so we'll need our first layer. And we'll do 0.02 thickness. And this is going to be dashed lines. And that'll be, we'll make a new layer here for that. Now we can just Command C, Command V, and we're going to change the properties of this. We'll go ahead and create a new layer before we move it in place. Alright, so now I get rid of my sun satin, that goes away, ocean satin, that goes away, ocean applique, sun applique. Cool. Alright, now I just move this in place. So now we want to do some custom satin stitches to make the little rays of the sun come off, right? Yeah. So we're going to make little triangles. So we're going to just design it in black real quick because yellow would be really hard to see, but we are eventually going to turn it into yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some railroad tracks. All we're doing here is we're letting the system know what direction to sew. So I'm putting three um, not rails, these would be, well, these would be the tracks here and here, and then I'm putting three rails this way so it knows to stitch like this, and then stop on each of these lines so it's going to end up looking like a triangle, right? Mm -hmm. So now what I need to do, and we'll test this out before we actually do anything else, but we're going to select each of these lines because we need to combine them, and then we're going to params to uh, select this shape as a custom satin stitch. So we're going to combine it. Go path combine or command K. Okay, and then let's go do a params check real quick. And custom satin column, custom satin. Just like that, right? Now, just like before, because we're doing a puff embroidery behind this, right? We're going to close this gap so we have closer stitches and that will hide some of the foam that we have underneath. Look good? Yeah. Sweet. So we'll apply and quit there. Copy and, and paste it. Exactly, and we just need to turn it to the orientation that we want, right? So Command C, Command V, and then we're going to flip it. I'm going to put these really close because it's going to be yellow as well. Okay, we're going to change that to point 0.2. Okay, so it's saying our rails are bad for that, but we already checked it, right? Could be because we're overlapped on this. So before I mess with that, I'm actually going to go to the um, simulator. See if that gives me a fault as well. So I think it was just because it was overlapping the sun set stitch. So it does work, even though the params check didn't work. That's good to know. Okay. So 
few things we want to change first is we want to make sure all of our satin stitches are nice and um, tightly grouped together so that our puff embroidery underneath doesn't show through. So we'll go ahead and set that up in params for each one. Apply and quit. And then our text, make sure that's nice and tight as well. Now, so this is the cool thing we just learned, again, thanks to a commenter, we can set this up so that we don't have jump stitches. So we've never done this before. We didn't know about the command anyway. So in ink stitch, if you go to commands, you can add commands to selected objects. We're gonna click on that. And we can click on this trim thread after sewing this object so that we're not going to have jump stitches in between. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I had no idea this existed in here. So we're going to hit apply. But you can see it, it will show you, hey, we after you do this object, it's going to cut it and then move on to the next thing, which is exactly what we want. So they all have little cut things after the command. It's going to be super helpful in text. Mm -hmm. and we're not going to have to cut, you know, a bunch of jump stitches between the text anymore. So no more jump stitches. Woo! So let's see what this looks like now in our preview. All right, let's go to the machine. Yeah, let's go. So I realize this is kind of confusing because it didn't really show much on the computer design, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna lay this down and we're going to lock down the fabric, cut it out, applique, right? And then we're gonna put down some puff foam and put that on top of our applique and do the satin stitch on top of that so that our satin stitch around our applique is more three-dimensional. And then we'll have, for our letters, another piece and do beach vibes in yellow. So that'll be three-dimensional. And then we'll move on to our applique sun, which will be up in this corner. So that the applique, cut it out, put a piece of foam down, and then our sun will have the satin stitch around here in yellow, as well as that custom satin stitch for the triangle, the rays. And then that's gonna be what this bag is gonna have in it. Sounds cool. Yeah, there's a lot to it, huh? Yeah, a lot of work. Yes, so let's get started. Let's go. It's tricky getting as close as possible so that your satin edge or satin stitch covers the edge. Yep, so the next part is we're just going to lay this over and do our satin stitch on top. Now let's cut this out. The jump stitches are still there. Yeah, we're going to have to look into that. Definitely. Because the commands are definitely there to cut these. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe we can look on their well, website and see. Hold on. No, it's still connected on both ends. Hmm.
wouldn't be able to do any of the things we've done in this video without your guys' help. Your comments really have helped like... Um, Point us in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, so we really appreciated all the comments that are very helpful and showing us the different aspects of Inkscape and Ink Stitch that we didn't even play around with. Yeah. So it was really nice, the lettering GUI that we really didn't mess around with before and uh, 3D puff the puff embroidery. We didn't yeah, know that all existed. Of that. Applique, all that. So thank you for the ideas. Please keep them coming. Mm -hmm. So we tried incorporating the trim selected objects command for our project, but it didn't really work for us. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to do some more research into that and see perhaps our machine just can't do that. Uh, we'll see. If you have any ideas on why that might have not worked, make sure to leave it in the comments, please, yes, or any please. tips you have. I think it turned out really nice, and I'm looking forward to using it on the beach and putting on my sunscreen and stuff in it. So Sunscreen? That's a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> and maybe Towel snacks. Maybe. Snacks? Okay. But, yeah, yeah I really it like it. It did turn out very nice. We like the two different kinds of applique on there. Now, it was a process, obviously. It, it took a while as we were doing all of the different parts of it individually. That mm -hmm. and putting the puff embroidery on top. So it was it was a long time. It took about 30 minutes in total to get mm -hmm. the whole thing done. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get mine every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.